you gorgeous individuals, it's Carv here and today I'm going to be sharing with you all my October TBR, which was chosen by some of my favorite authors. So about a month ago, I saw Monica from It's Monica Kim do a video where she DM'd some authors she loves to choose her September TBR. This video was kind of in line with the general YouTube trend of DMing your favorite celebrities and such that has been going around for a while now and I absolutely loved Monica's video, so I'm stealing her idea. Now, Monica knows I'm doing this, but of course all credit goes to her for the video idea, and I will link her video in the description below, and you all really need to watch it and just support Monica in general, because her content is just gold, her aesthetic is beautiful, I just love her so much, so definitely support her and her content. But basically what I did for my video is I DM'd five of my favorite authors, and I gave them each a category of sorts, and I had them recommend me one of their favorite books that fits said category. Now, I was obviously a little nervous going into this because I was just DMing authors and being like, can you help me out with this video? But all of them were so, so lovely. They immediately said yes, and they put so much thought into finding a book that actually fits the category I gave them, and they were just so wonderful and brilliant, and I love them all so, so much, and I'm so thankful to them for helping me make this video possible. Now, a little caveat, I do want to mention that I did authors that I do know to an extent or that I've talked to before because obviously it wouldn't have made sense for me to DM Cassandra Clare or something because that would have resulted in nothing. So I DM'd authors that I knew had a high chance of responding and possibly agreeing to be in the video and all of them immediately said yes and I'm so thankful for that. But before we get into the five books they recommended, I want to share with you all the one other book that is on my October TBR. And that book is none other than Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Some of you may know this but I co-host a book club with my good friend Romy from the channel Books and Coffee with Romy and I will link her channel in the description below because you all need to subscribe to her. She's the sweetest human being alive and I love her so much. So you must subscribe to her. But anyway, the two of us co-host a book club called Bookbound Society, and for October we have chosen Vicious by V.E. Schwab as our October book of the month. We chose this book because we wanted it to fit kind of with the spooky theme of October, as October is where Halloween happens and is generally like the spookiest month of the year. I am so 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 excited to read this. Romy has already read it and it's one of her favorite books, but I actually haven't read it yet, and I am so 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 excited to read it. And I'm just excited for October for Bookbound in general because we're having a read-along, we're having bookstagram photo challenges, we're just really putting in some effort so I'm so 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 excited and I definitely had to mention it before getting into the video. But now that that has been shared, let's jump right into the video. <laughs> The first author whose recommendation I'm going to be sharing is none other than Sandhya Menon. Now you all knew she had to be on this list because I love Sandhya Menon with my whole entire heart. That's like a solid half of my channel brand, so I'm sure you all knew how much I love her by now. But in case you're new here, Sandhya Menon is the author of When Dimple Met Rishi, its companion novel There's Something About Sweetie, and her sophomore novel From Twinkle With Love. While Sandhya is delving into some new concepts and ideas for her future work that's coming out in 2020 and 2021. Her brand so far has really been summer rom-coms. That's what these three novels are, so I knew that I had to ask Sandhya to recommend me a summer rom-com. And she responded immediately with two recommendations. As a YA summer rom-com, she recommended me The Summer of Jordi Perez by Amy Spaulding, and as an adult rom-com, she recommended me The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I recently read the Summer of Jordi Perez, so that was kind of coincidental that she recommended it to me almost right after I read it, so I'm not going to be rereading that one for this month. Instead, I'm going to be reading The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I believe this novel is like the sequel or a companion novel to The Kiss Quotient, but I checked on Goodreads and it seems like you can read this novel without having read The Kiss Quotient, it's just that the main characters were supporting characters in that novel. I'm not very well versed in adult rom-com. 
I'm not actually sure that I've ever read an adult rom-com before but I'm really really excited because I checked Goodreads and almost all of my friends said they really enjoyed this novel so I'm super excited to read it myself. This novel is about Kai Diep who is autistic but rather than accept this and kind of work with the fact that he processes emotions differently, he has just come to believe that he is defective. So his mother, in a moment of desperation, travels to Vietnam to find the perfect mail order bride. And that brings us to Esme Tran, who is a mixed race girl who's always felt somewhat out of place. So when the opportunity to marry an American arises, she is super excited and immediately leaps at it. But seducing Kai isn't going exactly as planned. Esme is falling for Kai but the attraction is not really going both ways. So it seems to me like this novel is about the two of them finding themselves and finding each other and it just sounds really adorable and wonderful and I'm really really excited to read it because I saw such great reviews of it and I think the cover is adorable so that's just an added bonus. The next author whose recommendation I'm going to be sharing is Danielle Clayton's. I love Danielle Clayton with my whole entire heart. I'm going to be saying that about every author in this video because I love them all so so much. Danielle is one of my biggest inspirations in the community. I love her and I look up to her and I admire her so so much so I'm very thankful that she was willing to recommend me a novel for this video. So Danielle Clayton is the co-author of the Tiny Pretty Things duology with Sona Chiraipotra and she is the author of the Bells fantasy series. I have read The Bells and the Everlasting Rose which is the sequel to The Bells and I loved both of them so so, so much. I just adore her writing. It is brilliant. When I thought of The Bells, what I really thought of was a badass feminist fantasy novel because that's really what The Bells is. So I asked Danielle to recommend me a feminist fantasy novel that she loved. Now, her recommendation was for Steel Tide by Natalie C. Parker. This is the sequel to Sea Fire, and I haven't yet read Sea Fire, so I decided to go with Sea Fire instead of Steel Tide because I might have been kind of confused. But regardless, Sea Fire seems to have just as many feminist themes as Steel Tide does. Seafire follows Caledonia Styx, whose entire family was murdered by Arik Athair and his bloodthirsty army of bullets. Now Caledonia leads a pirate crew of girls and women just like her whose family and homes were destroyed and killed by Arik and his men. Basically her crew has one goal, stay alive and take down Arik and his men. But when Caledonia's best friend and second in command barely survives an attack thanks to a bullet, Caledonia questions whether to let him join her crew. Now she's stuck with the question of whether this man will be the key to taking down Arik or if he will ruin everything she and her crew have worked for. This novel sounds really badass. I did read some slightly mixed reviews of it but it sounds amazing and an all-girl pirate crew is everything I have ever wanted so I'm very very excited to read it for myself. Next up, I have a recommendation to share from legend herself, Nina Varela. Nina Varela is a recent favorite of mine, but she is a favorite. Let me tell you that I love her so, so much that words can't even describe how much I love her and her work. Nina is the author of Crier's War, which is a fantasy novel that just came out yesterday, so all of you need to read this novel. I was lucky enough to receive an arc of it, so I read it, and I can tell you all that it is definitely one of my favorite novels of the year, if not my absolute favorite. So as these authors were recommending me books for my October TBR, I'm going to recommend that you read Crier's War for your October TBR. But regardless of my love for Crier's War, Nina's brand is really sapphic science fiction fantasy. So I asked her to recommend me a sapphic SFF novel. Nina came through with two recommendations, Gideon the Ninth, closely followed by The Grief Keeper. Gideon the Ninth by Tasman Muir has been such a hyped book recently. I have heard so much about it, so I decided to go with that one. Gideon the Ninth is an adult novel that involves swordplay, cutthroat politics, and most importantly, lesbian necromancers. If you just look at this book and how dark it is, it seems like the absolute 
perfect read for October, completely in line with the fact that October is spooky season. I have just heard so many people, authors and readers and reviewers alike, raving about this novel recently, so I am so excited to read it, most importantly because there are lesbian necromancers involved. The next author whose recommendation I'm going to be sharing is Anna Marie McLemore. I love her so much. I keep saying this about all the authors on this list, but I just... I love them all so much and they're so brilliant and they're incredible so I'm not going to stop. So yes, I love Anna Marie McLemore so so much. Their work is absolutely incredible. It is breathtaking and beautiful and brilliant. Anna Marie McLemore is the author of The Weight of Feathers, When the Moon Was Ours, Wild Beauty, and Blanca y Roja. So far I've only read Wild Beauty and Blanca y Roja but with that said, I think that the category I gave them was actually actually the most interesting of all the categories. So when I think of Anna Marie's work, the first thing that comes to my mind is her beautiful ability with words. The way they describe the world and the world building and they create characters and everything is just so beautiful. So I asked her to recommend me one of the most beautifully written fantasy novels she's read. Their recommendation was for Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Grave Mercy follows the story of 17-year-old Ismay who escapes the brutality of of an arranged marriage by escaping into the sanctuary of the convent of Saint Mortain where the sisters still serve the gods of old. Here Ismay learns that she has actually been blessed by the god of death himself with dangerous gifts and a violent destiny. If Ismay chooses to stay at the convent, she will be trained as an assassin to be the handmaiden to death. Ismay's most important assignment takes her to the High Court of Brittany where she is now facing a bunch of political intrigue and games and such that she was not prepared for. This novel also sounds so so good. Assassin nuns are absolutely everything I have ever wanted and I am so excited to read this novel. I've heard a bit about it but not too much so I'm really excited to read it for myself and see what I think. The last author whose recommendation I'm going to be sharing and I saved him for last just to make him suffer a little longer to see which book I chose is Julian Winters. Julian Winters is the author of Running With Lions and How To Be Rami Cameron which are two of my favorite books of all time and you all need to read it because Julian is like the absolute kindest person in the entire world. No matter how good of a person you try to be, you cannot outdo Julian Winters because his kindness and compassion knows no bounds. Very in line with his wonderfully bright and positive personality, Julian writes queer YA contemporary that just always fills me up and makes me warm and happy and it's just so fulfilling and wonderful to read his work. So I asked Julian to recommend me a favorite queer YA contemporary of his and he also came through with two recommendations. He recommended me Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan and Picture Us in the Light by Kelly Loy Gilbert. I have also actually read Picture Us in the Light. I read it earlier this year, I think 2019 has been so long that I honestly don't remember, but I do remember that I really really love that novel, but I have not yet read Hot Dog Girl. I generally hear that Hot Dog Girl is a novel that you will either love or hate, and I really really hope that I fall into the love category. I was actually recently talking to a few friends about this novel and saying that I might look into reading it, so I'm very very excited that Julian recommended it to me. Basically, Hot Dog Girl is a wide a coming of age queer contemporary novel about a main character, Eloise Lou Parker. Now, Eloise has landed a job at Magic Castle Playland as a giant dancing hot dog. To make matters worse, her crush Nick's girlfriend also works at Magic Castle Playland as a literal princess. So Eloise essentially ends up fake dating her lesbian best friend Seely and I am so 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 excited to see that play out. Again, I've heard that this is a novel that people tend to have very distinct opinions on but I think it sounds super cute and super fun and I'm very very excited to read it. Though 
those are all the books on my October TBR. A huge, huge, huge thank you to all of the authors who were willing to recommend me books and who helped make this video possible and who helped make my October reading month possible. I'm really excited for this reading month because it has a real variety of books to read and I love doing that. I love delving into new things but also reading my favorites and I feel like I get to do a little bit of both during October, which is how reading should be. So I am so, so, so excited for October as a reading month and I hope you all are too. And with that, that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were on them or let me know what books you're going to be reading in the month of October. And as usual, all of my social media and my Goodreads will be in the description below. If you want to find out how I ultimately end up feeling about all of these books, follow my Goodreads because I spend a ton of time on the reviews I write on there. But with that, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. Please remember that you are beautiful and user of the world and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye!